Hello there. This is the family doctor. What you're saying. You better take some heat. Yep, you better. No, sir, you're wrong. Dead wrong. There's only one way to make that play, and that's by taking out that king of yours. Like that. Well, this you lick me. You got me licked. Thought I could bluff you out, that one. Bluff me out? Well, well you were trying to bluff me, the crackinest checker player of Cedarton. <laughs> Why, you. Oh, hello, Dr. Adams. Oh, hello, Pete. Well, hello, Griff Miller. Hey, Doc. Oh. How's the health, Griff? Any more of those dizzy spells? No, nope. ain't had one for a week come Saturday. Well, I suppose be getting on back to the lake. Got to put some oakum in that uh, number five flat bottom. Well, so long, Doc. So long, Pete. I'll get you next time. Yes, <laughs> you will, you old codger. <laughs> I always get a great wallop out of making Griff think he's getting away with something. He sure looks a lot better lately. Looked like he was powerful worried there for a spell. Hmm. Uh, where's Johnny? Can he take this prescription up to the Rankins' right away? Sure thing you know, Doc. I'll fix it right up. Johnny, come on out and tend the counter while I fill this. Okay. Oh, hello, Dr. Adams. Oh, hello, Johnny. You like your job by now? Like it? Gee, Doctor, it's the swellest thing that ever happened to me. Of course, I haven't lived so long, but, well, I can never thank you enough for what you did for me. Oh, well. Hello, Doctor. Oh, well, hello, Faith. Yeah, I'm glad to see you. How's your father? Fine, thanks. Hello, Johnny. Hello, Faith. Well, you take that bottle right up to the Rankins's, will you, Johnny? Sure, Doc. Right away. Um, well, uh, I'll take, um... Oh, I guess I'll have a double chocolate tandem with nuts. Okay. Uh, are you... You going to the sociable over at the church tonight, Johnny? Don't know. I hadn't thought about it. You hadn't? Well, everybody's going to be there. You'd better come. We're, we're going to have an awfully good time. Well, maybe I will. If I'm not too late getting out of here. Here you are, Johnny. Hello, Faith. Hello. You take this right on up, Johnny. I'll finish that double tandem for Faith. Okay, Mr. May. See you tonight, Johnny. Maybe. So long. La, 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 you and Johnny la, going to the sociable together, Faith? What? Oh, no, Mr. May. I I just thought that, well, Johnny's kind of new in town, and, and he might meet some nice people there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, what are you laughing at? Oh, nothing, nothing. But you gals certainly don't waste no time setting your nets out for the new fish, do you? Mr. May, I <laughs> think you're mean. <laughs> Enjoyed yourself? Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, I think young people ought to enjoy each other's company while they're young, don't you? Uh-huh. Oh, because if they don't, then they soon get tired of each other when they're old. Don't you think so? Uh-huh. Oh, you don't seem very interested. Huh? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, of course I am. But I was just watching Mr. and Mrs. Bliss over there. Mrs. Bliss just handed Mr. Bliss a piece of paper. Oh. I think he's going to make another announcement. Well, then maybe we're going to have some more Now, don't you question my judgment, Rip Bliss. I know what I'm doing. Oh, 
uh, yeah, yes, of course, my sweet. But uh, I was just wondering if you thought it was a good idea to put your own daughter on the program. You'd been arranging. Of course, I think it's a good idea. Else I wouldn't have done it. Uh, yeah, yes, uh, of course. Now you go ahead, and I'll get Miss Maynard to give you a chord on the piano. Well, <clears throat> if uh, if you say so, my love. <clears throat> <laughs> Well, well, folks, it gives me great pleasure to uh, to now introduce to you my, my own daughter, Ella Mary Bliss, who's uh, going to recite for you a poem she writ herself. It's called, uh, When Leaves at Autumn Fall to Ground. All right, Ella Mary. Oh, well, okay. When leaves at autumn fall to ground. <clears throat> When spring has passed and summer's o'er and snow is not far off, oh, then tis when the lovely trees their beauteous leaves do doff. The verdant green of tender buds become as red and brown, and all the world is dead and sour, uh, <clears throat> sad and dour when leaves of autumn fall to ground. How like life, or how, how like, how like life is this? Is this sad time? How much do we resemble trees? <laughs> How much? How much? Oh, I can't do it. <laughs> Goodness, wouldn't you know Ella Mary'd make a botch of the piece? Now she'll have another one of her spells. Rip, get up there and say something. Eh? Uh, well, <clears throat> well, what'll I say? I don't care, but say something. Do something. Yeah, yes, my sugar. <clears throat> well, folks, I, um... I guess the entertainment's over. You can uh, all stay around and enjoy yourselves by uh, talking, if you like. <clears throat> well, uh, guess that's all. Oh, my goodness. Well, what's the matter, Johnny? Johnny? Huh? Huh? Uh, what'd you say, Faith? Well, what's the matter? You look upset. Oh, I don't know. It made me feel kind of bad, uh, getting mixed up in her piece like that. Oh, well, after you've lived in Cedarton for a while, you'll get used to Ellen Mary doing things like that. She always does. Well, maybe. Oh, Johnny. Huh? Would you... <laughs> would you like to take me home? Yeah, sure. All right. Shall we go? <laughs> Don't you worry, Mrs. Bliss. Ella Mary's going to be all right. Yeah, yes. That's uh, what I've been telling Marsha. You hash up, Rip Bliss. Yeah, yes, love. But, Dr. Adams, Ella Mary's been like this all her life. The least little thing, she gets upset. She cried all night long. I couldn't get myself a wink of sleep. Doctor, don't you know what's the matter with her? Yeah, sure, I know. You do? What? Well, what is it? Hypochondriasis. Oh, huh? good gracious alive. What's that? Doc. Is it uh, catching? Well, in a way, no. You see, Ella Mary isn't really sick at all. Well, the little... Uh, just a minute, Mrs. Bliss. That isn't the way to help her. She needs sympathy, but she needs the right kind, not the sloppy, sentimental slush she thinks she wants, but... Well, I think I know what she needs, and I'm going to see that she gets it. Well, I certainly hope you can. Yeah, yes. Lots of folks in the world think they enjoy poor health. And all the time, they'd be a heap happier if they'd just dig themselves up out of the hole they're in and look at the world the way the Creator meant for them to see it. Well, I'll go in and see her. Maybe her case isn't exactly hopeless yet. Well, hello there, Ella Mary. Don't you remember me? Hello, Dr. Adams. Oh, oh say now, you're too pretty to make your eyes all red and... Pucker up your face with crying. No way, I don't want to see anybody. Uh -huh. You had anything to eat today? No, don't worry. Say, I'll bet I know something you'd like. What? Ice cream. Don't want any ice cream. Yeah, I think that's just the thing. Nice and cool and refreshing. Yeah. I'll drop by May's drugstore on my way to the office and have Johnny bring some up. Johnny? Yes, you know, Johnny Kemp, mm -hmm. the young fella that Pete May has working for him now. Awful nice young fella. Mm hmm Hmm? Huh? Oh, um, well, I mean, yes, I suppose he is. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> it'll be running long now, Elmary. 
I think that ice cream will help a lot. Don't you? Well, yes. Might. I'm sure it will. Well, see you tomorrow when I make my calls. Bye-bye. Goodbye, Dr. Adams. Dr. Adams speaking. Uh, oh, oh, hello, Lou. Now, honey, didn't you tell me this morning to stop in at Bliss's Grocery and bring home a dozen eggs and a pound of butter? You ought to know that I do it without you. T- huh? What's that? Oh, yeah, as I see. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a dozen lemons and a pound of tea you want. Well, I did get them the right shape anyway. Huh? <laughs> All right, honey. Yes, it's all right, all right. Yeah, goodbye. Yes, Luke. Yes, there's a patient just come in. I, I, I've got to go see who it is. It's all right, honey. I won't forget. Yeah, yeah, goodbye. Well, how do you... Ah, hello, Faith. <laughs> kind of a stranger up to my office. Nothing wrong, I hope. Yes. There's lots wrong, and, and you made it. Well, now... Uh... Mm, me? Oh, Faith Windsor, what do you mean? Dr. Adams... You're a blind old meddler, that's what. No, Faith. You should have seen that Johnny and I were in love with each other. Johnny? Johnny Kemp, and, and now you've gone and spoiled it all. Why? Everybody in Cedar knew he took me home from the sociable last night, except you. And, and then this morning you sent him up to Bliss's with a pint of ice cream, and and you knew that was too much for Ella Mary to eat all by herself. And, and she invited Johnny to have some with her, and... And he was up there for two whole hours. And, and now he, he's going to take her to the church next Sunday. Oh, no. Dr. Adams, you've ruined the only beautiful thing that's ever happened to me in all my life. And I'm never going to forgive you. Never, never, never. Gosh, to Friday. Was there ever a man lived who could be right all the time? Well... Grant Adams, I guess you just haven't got the right kind of a bow and arrow to be a Cupid. family doctor. I'll be in to see you again right soon. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>